Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dan Bedanti. I am the Truth Warrior. I am host of Truth Radio. I air every Monday live, 8 to 11 p.m. on WALE 990 AM, Greenville Province, Rhode Island. And also on Renegade Radio on www.990wbob.com. And you can check for my listings um, on www.truthradio.cc. And um, again, my name is Dan Bedanti. And um, my show is all about exposing the New World Order, exposing tyrannical government dictatorship. And um, I want to send a special thanks out to Alex Jones, um, a long-time listener of his, and got a lot of information off him, and he's the reason why you know I got it up to get my own show, and I've been on the air for about eight months now. And I had Alex Jones on my show as a guest, and hope to have him back soon. Also, I'd like to send a thanks out to Eric and Kent Hoven, Tex Mars, Steve Quayle and Chuck Baldwin. I got most of my information from all these guys. And I forget Tim Horn also. Got my almost all my information from these guys and plus the research that I have amassed. And all this uh, research that I've gained over the years, the last 20 years, has become my responsibility to come out here and tell you the truth. That's why I'm the Truth Warrior and I host Truth Radio. And I'm working on a national syndicated show, which hopefully will be up soon. And every week I would be reporting here on YouTube, Google, and MySpace, and wherever else. A weekly update of the news going on, a tyrannical um, dictator fascism that's going on in this country, and exposing the New World Order. And um, but into my dying last breath, I vow to be a thorn in the side of the New World Order. And today I want to break right out, and um, again, today is March 23rd of 2010. And today is the day after health care is approved. Health care is a tyrannical bill. It's a first step towards the North American Union. And we're getting to that during the show. So the next 45 minutes to an hour, you're going to be seeing me here talking about the New World Order, exposing the frauds in the government, how Barack Obama, or should I say Barry Sotaro, is not a citizen of this country, and I do want to disclose, I have to disclose for both my radio stations, that none of the views on the show, or not, the words I speak, are not the views of any advertisers, sponsors, or radio stations, or affiliates of the stations. And um, so we're going to get right to the news. And, um, and it's like, uh, what, uh, bring out some, well, it's a little bit old, a couple days ago. And... Uh, I get most of my news from Infowars.com. It's a great website, one-stop shop for all your news information. That's where I get most of my news from, so you don't have to go digging around. Um, you got Kurt Nimmo and um, you know Alex Jones' the staff does a great job. You know, the second to none on digging up the news everywhere. And um, I promote all his uh, DVDs. If you go to my website, TruthRadio.cc, all his uh, documentaries are on there, and you can order, click on the uh, documentary. You could you can watch the trailer or watch it itself and order right from his website on infowars.com and I owe a lot of appreciation to him because you know without him I wouldn't have you know I mean he wouldn't have given me the knowledge and also the courage to get up here and fight the new world order you know and I'm just sick and tired of the tyranny I'm sick and tired of the stuff that's going on and sick and tired of the people out there the mass of the people who already care about your American Idol your, your Super Bowl your um, biggest loser it has not a world of clue, especially you Christians out there. And I want to disclose this, people. I myself, I am a Bible believing believer in Jesus Christ. Okay, I do not follow religion at all. I believe in Jesus Christ and the Bible. The reason I say I don't follow religion because religion corrupts the Bible, plain and simple. And this goes for all you Christians out there. You know, 99.9% .9 of you are going to be deceived in the end times. Why? Because your ministers never tell you why. We're going to get into that soon. And then the show we disclose stuff that your churches don't teach you, that they should teach you. And again, none of these statements, are, um, none of these views at all are anything to do with the stations I work for. I have to uh, have a disclosure before and after every show. So it's nothing to do with the stations or any of the sponsors. It's totally my views, uh, uh, views of the truth movement. Again, powered by the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States and of the Holy Bible. That's my disclosure. And um, what I want to disclose today is there's some little current news and I want to break right into these tyrannical. I got a stack of them right here. 
tyrannical bills that have been established while you people out there were sleeping. And uh, this is from um, March 20, 2010. The, uh, drones may be sent to, uh, soon to help with our border security, Napolitano says. In Austin, Texas, the federal government may soon send unmanned aircraft to score West Texas with uh, state's coastal waters in an effort to boost border security. U.S. Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano said in a letter to the governor. Now, I read through this. Basically, they want to, um, long story short, they want to um, send drones flying over Texas, unmanned drones, which they do anyway, but they're just disclosing it now, for border security. Even though they're keeping the borders open because it's part of the not after agreement, the North Trade American Union, for the North American Union, I'm sorry. And this is right from uh, DallasNews.com. There's a document right there. Because everything I say on the show is not a conspiracy, it's truth. Because I got documentation and scores of news to back everything up. And um, they've been recently on Infowars.com talking about internet too. And um, again, uh, this is my first show, so a lot of you are going to be unfamiliar with a lot of this stuff. But you stay tuned. We will disclose everything. Who the Illuminati is. Who the new, what the New World Order is all about. Secret societies, the corruption of them. The whole right-wing, left-wing paradigm. Faults and deceiving religions and cults. I mean, we get to it all. The Nephilim, what they really are. Aliens and UFOs. If you believe in them or not, you know, what they really are. What the Bible has to say about them. How churches purposely hide the truth of what these things are. And they don't talk about them. We're going to get into that. And not on this show, but because we've got a lot to cover. And because, um, again, today's the day after the health care was appro uh, approved. And we're going to get right into that. We're going to break down who Barack Obama really is. And we're going to we get all this uh, documentation and everything else. And um, back to this news here. So I want to disclose some stuff that's going on in the news that you people out there are not aware of. And those drones out there, they're being flown all over the place. They spy on you at night. We've seen them at night ourselves. You know, they, these things are... Uh, the Los Angeles Police Department is already buying these drones, Chicago and everywhere else, to control dissidents. You know, so-called um, protesters that are dissidents to people. They fire rubber bullets at you, the electric tasers, um, tear gas, all kinds of uh, crap. It looks like something out of a Terminator movie. You know, a Terminator 2 with these flying machines and everything. Exactly like that. It's a control dissonance. That's right, they want to take your right, your First Amendment, and throw it out the window. They've been working on it since day one to destroy the Constitution. And I'm um, going to uh, right to the news here. Broadband plan would vast uh, expand of government power over the internet. Again, uh, again, uh, the FCC is attacking the internet. Okay, they want to censor the internet. Not the only the FCC, the United Nations. It's all been disclosed. In Northcom. It's been disclosed at the White House. Talk of uh, the United Nations. Uh, they want an internet to a total censorship of the internet. That means shows like this, and like Alex Jones and Steve Quayle and all that will be knocked off the air because they don't want you asking questions out there. They want you to watch your American Idol. They want you to watch your dumb American home videos to keep you in a box, okay? To keep you controlled in a mass hysteria. Well, it should be mass hysteria because that's what they put your mind into. And Idaho leads state revolt against naked body scanners. Now, we're going to cover the naked body scanners. Now, those of you heard that, um, again, those of you sleeping, I'm going to have to disclose this. Since uh, Muhammad Mutab which was already admitted by the Department of Homeland Security and the uh, Department of uh, State Secretary uh, of uh, the State Defense. I got so many things on my mind here. Already admitted, okay, disclosed that they helped him through security to get on that plane to Detroit. All it was is a huge, it was a false flag stage terror attack just to sell these naked body scanners. And these things are disgusting. Okay, I got tons of pictures on my Facebook. Look, Dan Bidondi, B-I-D-O-N-D-I, on Facebook.